What's up, hobbyists? Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you on how to program an 8288 using Arduino ID. So, we are going to do basic operation like blinking a LED. But there is a way you can program it with Arduino IDE with just few steps. Let me show you how. On the screen is the pinout of the 16 MHz crystal MH Tiny Ball. It is tiny as USB chip on board. It has 26 IO pins with just 8 ADC pins. For this tutorial, we are going to need a LED, a jumper wire, a resistor, it is tiny 88, mail pin headers, and a breadboard. The first step is to insert the mail header into the holes of on the 8010 port and solder them in place. To make it easier, I inserted it into the breadboard to hold it firm and in place. So I solder them in place, which looks pretty neat. I avoided applying too much soda lead on the pin and also mind the temperature of your soldering iron so as not to cause damage to the pin out. After soldering I, I inserted it close to the edge of the breadboard so as to make insertion of cable easy for me. I brought out my whole digital multimeter. I changed it to continuity test mode which could give a voltage that is just enough to light up a LED. So take notes of the pinout. I've helped you with the pinout displayed on the screen. My LED works perfectly. I inserted a 330 current limiting resistor on the pin 2 of the microcontroller. I also checked the polarity of the LED very well. The positive pin goes to the under end of the resistor as shown on the screen. And the negative deep pin and the negative pin is dipped into the breadboard. I connected the ground of the LED to the ground of the 8088 using jumper wires. And we are done with the hardware part. The next is to download the software driver for the ATT ports. The download link is at the description below. After downloading the zip file, extract the zip file into a folder you can easily have access to. As you can see, I've already extracted the file, so I'm just going to cancel. Navigate the extraction folder and scroll to DP Inst Files. Choose the one that works according to the bit of your PC. Double click on it and follow the instruction by installation wizard. It is installed pretty well on my Windows. To do this, you need to copy the link from the .txt file that is available for download at the description below. After copying the link, open your Arduino IDE, click on File, then click on Preferences, paste the link you copied from the .txt file in the box I highlighted, and click OK. Having done that, click on Tools, navigate to Boards, and then click on Board Manager. The next operation will require internet access. Make sure you have it. On the board manager window, click on the sex box and type MHET Live Boards. There you have it. Click on install.
to confirm if the board has been installed click on tools then navigate to board then scroll down if it has been installed you will find image Click on file and then create a new file. So this new file will create a new program. A new program in Arduino Hydro comes with a default peer minimum program code, which only contains setup and loop, with no operation to perform. But since we are blinking the LED, there are built-in examples on Arduino IDE. Just click on file. Click on examples, then to basics and click on blink example. On the blink example, there are a few things to note. First, the program is written for Arduino boards, and the instruction shows that LED built-in as a variable is pre-programmed, target a pin depending on the Arduino board. But for 8388, it is digital pin 0 instead of digital pin 13 on Arduino, you know. The purpose of built-in is to blink an onboard LED. So, 8388 onboard LED is attached to pin 0. But according to the circuit configuration for this tutorial, we are using digital pin 2. So, I changed the LED built-in back to digital pin 2. The program has two major functions, the setup and the loop. In the mode of the pin is being defined whether you want to the pin to be used as output or as an input pin. And any code that goes into the setup part is bound to run once when the board is powered on. As for the loop part, the every statement made in it runs forever unless the power is turned off. The digital write function makes the pin defined in the function to go either high or low after a statement made in the program. Click on compile button to check for errors. Then click on upload button. For 8088, unlike any Arduino bots, require you not to insert USB cable before clicking on the upload button. You'll be prompted to insert it after compiling the program. Once it is inserted, it uploads the program to the ATTN flash memory. And you just have yourself a blinking LED. You can adjust the duration of blink by changing the value of uh, milliseconds in the delay function. Have fun coding. Thanks. Don't forget to like my video, share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell. So the next time I post a new video, you'll be the first person to get it. And also let me know what you think about this tutorial by making your beautiful comment below. And if you have any suggestion for me, let me know too. To get a long way for me, don't forget I'm just a bit. You can also follow my Facebook page, Instagram and also on Twitter. Everything is at the description below. Stay creative and see you next time.